Hey everyone! I think we all know that Etsy kits can get pretty pricey if you are purchasing a weekly kit for your planner every single week. So I've been looking into ways that you can save money but still decorate your planner with cute stickers. I decided to look into printables, but I don't want to have the same looking layout every single week. So today my challenge is to try to create two unique layouts using a single kit. So this one will be two different layouts. I have no idea how this is going to go, so wish me luck. Tip one is to group similar colored and themed stickers from the kit together. For this layout, I'm focusing on blues and greens and purples, as well as the horse and princess stickers. In order to make the layouts really different and extend the kit as much as possible, I decided to pull in some scrapbook paper and some washi. Tip two is to find scrapbook paper, washi, and die cuts that coordinate with the colors that you chose. Tip four is don't be afraid to change the shape and the size of the stickers to make them work for you. I sized down the to-do box stickers, I cut rectangles in half like the green one and placed it over a decorative sticker. So really don't be afraid to cut up those stickers and personalize it. What's really helpful about printables that you cut out yourself is that you can try out what everything is going to look like beforehand. You will see me constantly rearranging everything because I had no idea what the end product was going to look like. Tip 5 is to cut your scrapbook paper into different shapes. I'm cutting out a scalloped edge to create a lace effect in the sidebar and I also cut out a scalloped edge for the top header. At this point, I decided that there was way too much red and I needed to incorporate more blue. So I started to pull more blue stickers from the sticker kit. Reorient the same sticker to make it look different. I'm using two of these red floral stickers, but to make it look different, I'm flipping one vertically so you can't really tell that it's the same sticker. Tip eight is if it doesn't feel right, don't force it. I really wanted to use this sticker of the girl with the red dress, but I was never able to make it work. But that's okay because the idea of this is that I'm using a lot of the stickers in the kit. I don't have to use 100% of them in both spreads. Tip nine is to use leftover white sticker paper to cover up header lines. Tip 10 is to add an insert. Having an insert can really change the look of your spread. It's also great for adding lists to the backup. I'm using stickers from the kit for my shopping list, but you could also just use a sticky note on the back of your insert. I started off with this first spread which has a section for work and carpooling and my bible study and it's very purple and blue and green and then using the same sticker kit I did this spread which has more pinks and blues in it but you get a really different feel from the other spread and what appeals to me about that is then I can continue to use the same printables and make different looking spreads each time and that saves a lot of money. This insert has a spot for groceries and shopping list so you can just pull it out and take it with you to the store, just put it in your purse. I really hope that this video gave you some new ideas for ways that you can extend the life of either your Etsy sticker kits or the printables that you purchase by making multiple layouts using the same kit or same printable. 
If you'd like to see more planner ideas, please check out my Instagram at Personalize My Planner, and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye. Bye. You and I